Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Timberborn. This is part two. In the first video, we started a new colony of beavers named after my lovely Patreon. We had a great time. We cut down some trees, we pumped some water, we collected berries. But most importantly, we just built this huge path heading towards a proposed dam. Yes, we're a beaver. We're going to engineer a dam. Anyway, let's carry on where we left off. Uh, we should probably check what, what we need to actually build the dam. So it's in landscaping, this one. So the dam pieces allow water to pass through the top. So we can only use that for the top of our dam. We actually need this one, the levee, for the base. Uh, we need 120 science points. We've only got 20 at the moment. So we might actually need to build another inventor's hut. Because we can't add any more people there. Bollocks. So yeah, I'm going to put another, another science hut next to it. And someone will have to quit their job to become a scientist. Oh, and if you look down here, our berries have actually run out. So we may as well pause Crimson on that. You did a good job, man, but uh, there's no berries left. Maybe he will become a new scientist. So I don't know exactly where our dam's going to go. I want it to be huge. Maybe along that bit. So maybe like that. Uh, we've also sort of run out of logs. That's not ideal. I think maybe we'll up this lumberjack flag. So we'll turn that back on. And then we'll pause one of these ones. So hopefully Yannick Becker, he's just gone from this one to this one. Yes, he has. Good work. All right, so I feel like our beavers, they're a bit, I don't know, they're working very hard. I feel like I want to reward them a little bit. So I'm actually going to build them a campfire so they can socialize. But it's going to be way up here. Campfire in there with a hell of a view. They, look, they can look down on their town while drinking some beers. Alright, so day 13, I think the dry season happens after day 14. So uh, not long to prepare. Um, I don't know how to attract more beavers. I might build another house and see if that helps. But honestly, I'm not entirely sure. I think we'll squeeze a house in there. But uh, it would be nice to have more beavers, just so we can get more done. Alright, so our farmers are digging up the last of the carrots. And then hopefully they'll be mining... Mining? <laughs> And then hopefully they'll be planting this whole area. So that should create much more food for next time. All right, so I'm going to prioritize this water thing just because I'm well aware the dry season is very close. So if we can get that complete and add some water. We don't have any water in that one yet, so I'm not too concerned. I've also just realized as well, there's probably no point in these guys planting these because dry season is going to hit and that's just going to dry out. Uh, anyway, we'll leave them to it and we'll see what happens. But that could be a waste of time. Could have been better spent somewhere else maybe. Right, so we'll fast forward, we're just waiting on the science points now. Uh, thankfully, you can see here, some of our trees are growing back. So we will be able to log these again soon. Ooh, ooh, slow down, slow down. It appears we attracted new beavers. So we now have 13, I see, oh god damn. So we're about to do is build more houses. Oh. Alright, so how many science points do we need for that levy? 120. We only need 13 more, so let's fast forward time. Oh god, no, it's another day. It's day 14, this could be the dry season. Oh dear. Oh dear. Day 15. It's still the wet season. It's still the wet season. Oh, thank goodness. So we're safe. I'll tell you what then. I might build another house because I do want to attract more, more beavers. I'm going to build this one there. So we got like a two-story thing going on just, just on that corner of the building. <laughs> right, so we have enough science points to build the levee. Are you sure you want to unlock the... Bye bye, Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. For 120 science points. Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, so now we can build this, I hope, down here. Uh, apparently it's too far away. Bollocks. <laughs> but, uh, but what I'm thinking is we sort of do that sort of thing. I don't know how these work. Like whether I can just get away with doing that. And then build on top of that. Or whether... Because I can see a gap there. So I assume that's a gap. So we might have to build like there and there as well. But then on top of that, you use this dam piece. And that allows the water to go through. So if I put these on top, and when they get built, the water level won't exceed the top. Although I don't really know what happens if it would exceed. That could be quite cool to flood. But uh, that's a big-ass dam. That is a big-ass dam. Uh, the downside, obviously, this is too far away to be built at the moment. So we do need to build another builder flag. Uh, so I'm just going to build that there. Oh god, so we've got the ticking clock. The dry season is approaching. I think day 16 is our last day of wet season. So not really sure what's going to happen, if I'm honest. I think all the trees die, which isn't great. Uh, we should probably put someone hunter-gathering the berries, because those berries are going to die. We may as well grab them if we can. So Yannick Becker is now grabbing berries as quickly as he can. 
All of our water is full though, so that, that is very good. They've all had a little sneaky drink. Oh god, food is super low. What have I done? No! What have I done? <laughs> Food's too low. Ah, oh, shit. How do we get more food? They ate all those carrots. I thought they were gonna... <laughs> I thought they were gonna last ages. Come on, grow. Look how close they are to growing. 90%. Oh, we might be okay. We might actually be okay. What are our farmers doing? Are they just sat on the decking? Yeah, they are. Tail between the legs. Stop playing with your tail, man. Who is that? Is that EGB again? Yeah, I think it was. Right, quickly farm those bloody carrots as fast as you can. We're halfway to the dry season. Oh, no, they're not They're not going to bollocks. What if I up the working hours? you got to work 20... You don't, you're on the night shift, guys. You're on the night shift. We need all the bloody carrots we can get. They're not going to be happy about this, but we don't have a choice. We've got to work through the night. Right, food... Thankfully, we've saved the day. 130 food. We gained an extra 100 food thanks to the night shift. Uh, how's up here looking? Not great. Everyone seems to have given up building this. Is that because no one's in there? No, Michael Francois is... Hey, everyone's really, really tired. Red tired symbol means they're tired. Is he just falling asleep on the job? <laughs> Crimson. <laughs> he was so tired. He lives, he lives in the lodge, but he's exhausted. He's just having a sleep in the carrots. Right, so it's a new dawn, it's a new day, and the dry season is approaching. So we might see this river dry up very shortly. <laughs> Crimson is still completely out of it. <laughs> Com who else is in? Who's, who's that? Just asleep on the road. Armin. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, I, I overworked you. Overworked, underpaid. The story of a beaver. Uh, but it appears... Our logs are not close enough to be able to build these, I think. Because it says we're waiting on materials. So maybe if I build another log pile, like up here. So I'll put a log pile there. And then I don't know, can I tell them to empty storage? Yeah, I can. And maybe that one will fill up. So we'll prioritize that. And then maybe we'll click on empty storage. And this can be their little dry season job. Let's fast forward a bit. It might be the dry season doesn't actually happen until that fills up. Uh, not entirely sure. We'll keep an eye. We need to remember as well, the power will stop. So when the dry season comes, Zach, you're out of business, man. You're going to have to find a new job. Whoa, 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 pause. Okay, it happened during the night. Oh, God. Right, so it happened at night time, so we couldn't really see what happened very well. But the water dried up instantly. So we're now no longer producing power. I don't know if you can see, but everything's brown here. That's not producing water anymore. And as the water is disappearing down the river, the brown is happening behind. So look, all drying up. And this is our new water limit. And obviously the green just surrounds that. So when these beavers wake up, they're not going to know what's hit them. Uh, so we may as well pause that job and pause the lumber mill. Because no one can work there. We may as well pause the farm as well. Because the farm is done. And the hunter-gatherer, completely done. This could be tough. I'm not entirely sure if we're going to survive the dry season, but this is what this is what our area looks like now. It's really not great, very barren and dry looking. We'll keep it going and we'll try and focus on this. So let's empty these. So empty storage. So hopefully they'll move logs up to here, but we'll have to see. Let's fast forward to what happens. They're just building this. Yeah, there they go. So the logs are coming in here and then this guy can take the logs from here and build all the stuff over here like our dam. Right, we just had a new baby. Right, there he is. There's a little scamp. You need a name change. So you will be Dornclaw. <laughs> Sonalco. Sonalco? Either way, you're a little rascal now. Sorted. Now, you picked a bad time to be born, though. There's a, <laughs> there's a major drought. I'm not entirely sure how things are going to go. We're still researching science, though. So maybe we should have a look at what we can actually purchase after that. Oh, we can get foresters and they plant. Ah. Oh. I think we'll unlock that and we'll start planting new forests. Oh, and bushes. So that's good. So yeah, we'll have a forester. That's unlocked. And we'll plop one of them. I reckon there should be good. And then maybe we can plant this area up. Say, so plant a load of trees and plant a load of bushes as well. Nice. Oh, and it's the wet season again. The water is rejuvenating the land. I don't know what's going to happen with our crops, though. They're, they're not looking good. Hopefully they'll recover. I d Why are they so brown? I'll tell you what, though, we need to unpause all of our pause things. Oh, God, so we've just reached a new happy level. Our well-being score is six, and we had two new births, so we need more names. So we're going to have Maestri and Mondu Calera. 
My new little babies. Now it looks like we have to replant all those dead ones. That is a shame. Who are our new farmers? Are it still EGB? He's still loving the farm life. And Yannick Becker. Uh, we actually, that was plenty of water to survive. We had well over half left. So that is very good. Jordan Miller is the new forester. So he'll be planting all of our bushes and new trees up there. And how is the dam construction going? Not great. We need to prioritize this. The builder flag. And then they'll be in range, I think. Michael Francois, he... There you go, he's building that now. The build progress is flying. Good work, sir. All right, so our little socialization campfire area is going well. Although he just sat in there on his own and now he's gone. <laughs> uh, maybe now it's nighttime and the flames are going. Maybe more people will come and join. Who's that? The mastery is in there. Anyone else going to come join him? Come socialize? That's the whole point of this. Oh, they're well keen. Oh, mastery buggered off. Mastery is so antisocial. Right, so... Corey Taylor is up there. He works at the Builder Flag. So if I pause that one, he's sacked. Is he going to go work in this one? Please. You're unemployed. Are you unemployed? He's unemployed, but it says... Oh. <laughs> it says no, no unemployed beavers in range. He was in range. Oh, there you go. No, he's working there. Corey Taylor is working there. Sweet. All right, so Corey Taylor, you have the most important job of the entire beaver population. You're going to build the dam. Oh, no. Zach died of old age. No! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Zach. I don't know where I don't know where your body is. Oh, he died of old age. That's really sad. This video is dedicated to Zach. <laughs> I think he was our resident scientist because apparently we're lacking workers in our inventor's hut now. So I think out of respect, we're gonna we're gonna shut up shop for the day. Production is paused, everyone can go home. Uh, and just remember Zach the way he'd like to be remembered. As a beaver. All right, meanwhile, we've built a levee. Bye bye, Mr. American Pie. Took my chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. All right, it would be nice to get a few more beavers on the job up here. So I might build one of these, a hauling post. But uh, it could be worthwhile, I think. If we plonk it in, let's say there. And once this is built, that should just make all of our builders in range a bit quicker and stuff. But, oh, you can see the water. Oh, look, we got a proper waterfall going on. Yes. <laughs> oh, God, it's... Oh, God, the water level is rising. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I didn't know, like, the water physics were this complicated. And I think, I think, this area is going to be, like, fully watered soon. So I could move, like, my whole base up here. I'm not, I'm just not sure how much it dries out. We'll have to see, because it should store, like, water or under the dam bit, so the levee level, that should always be a lake. I'm not sure, we'll have to see, we'll have to see what happens. Uh, why aren't you doing anything? Why aren't these being built? Can't get all required materials. Bollocks, what do we need? Oh, we've got no logs, literally no logs. Uh, oh god, we're literally out of trees. I'll tell you what, we might have to do a bit of a free highlight these trees to be cut. And then we might have to build a makeshift dam. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to... I'm going to build a dam across here. Oh, no, I'm not. It's too far from the builders. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Right, we'll delete all those then. And we'll build one up here, across there. So a dam across there. That will get us these trees, which I hope will be able to be lumbered. Uh, apparently it's out of range, though. Bollocks. So we're going to have to build a builder's hut, build a flag. So I'll plonk that there. Prioritize that. That's it. Build it. Build it. I'm very cautious. We're only a few days from the wet season and our dam's not going to be built. Oh no, we're going to fail. That's the only, that's the other thing. There is sort of a time limit currently in the demo. I think the main game will last longer. Oh god, we need logs to build the dam and we can't. <laughs> oh, it's a disaster. It was going so well. I don't know where we're going to get logs from. Oh, I should have thought about that. I really should have thought. I did not plan very well. I apologize, my little beaver friends. You know, there might be a bit of a saving grace. These trees I planted, 82% growth. So maybe we can get some wood from them once they're fully grown. No, it's just a waiting game though. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> oh, I cocked it so bad. Meanwhile, Eric Perry is joining us. Nice one, Eric. Can you save the logging crisis? <laughs> I hope so. All right, we've got half the logs or our first bit of the dam we're never gonna make it we're never gonna make it the dry season is approaching oh dear oh dear although there's logs up here why haven't i quick cut trees why haven't we highlighted these to be cut if these start getting cut i've saved the day 
We've built our first bit of the dam. Prioritize, prioritize. Oh god, the dry season's so close. Are we gonna do it in time? <laughs> this was all to build this dam, which is bloody impressive, to be fair. Manuel Caston is our latest beaver to be born. Unfortunately, Jordan Miller died of old age. Now, I assume he's in his house. Yeah, he still he still lives in his house, even though he's dead. <laughs> Whoa, look at this guy. He's got a rucksack on. Breezy, bro. What's going on, man? You going for a hike? Anyway, that's, that is a hell of a waterfall. I'm hoping we can get enough logs to complete that, but I really do not know. This dam ain't going great. But once we have it, we will well and truly be in range of these trees. All right, the dry season is very much approaching. I'm quite intrigued to see what's going to happen here. I assume until we build those two levees, it's, it's not going to be good. It's just going to dry up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The water, the water went down, but it hasn't stopped yet. You know, our dam's nearly complete as well. <laughs> we were so close. Oh, Omka just died of old age. I'm sorry, Omka. Oh yeah, the water levels dropped significantly. I assume, yep, it's only a matter of time. The water's run out. <gasps> oh, but this dam. We did it. We have water still. Oh, EGB. He dead. He dead. Oh, there we go. The dam is being built now. We've got, we got Sonoloco, Crimson, and Corey Taylor. Nice work, guys. Uh, the water is pretty low, though. Considering we're not even halfway through the dry season. Probably should have built a few more storages. Oops. I'll tell you what, as water's running out, I think we should probably build a new water pump there. All right, we're now fully out of food and water. Oh, God. Things are not looking good. Things are really not looking good. But uh, we had we had a new birth. Alberto Beck. You are now a beaver. And unfortunately, Corey Taylor died of old age. Oh, dear. Yeah, if we prioritize this building, we are waiting on logs again. How many logs do we have? We got five logs. Uh, not ID. <laughs> Oh no, who's that? Son Loco, his last dying act. He died of thirst. His last dying act was to build the lumberjack flag. Oh no, who's that? Who's that? Yannick Becker died. He died of hunger. Crimson's just died of hunger. Manuel Castor and Eric Perry. Oh god. Everyone's dying, people. Bespoke Bespoke died of thirst. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. <laughs> right. Ev <laughs> Everyone's dying. Who have we got left? We've only got one beaver left. Who is it? It's this guy. Alberto Beck. <laughs> You've only been alive three days, but you're on your own. <laughs> oh no, this is horrible. Oh, Alberto Beck died. <laughs> All your beavers are dead, but that's how the po post-apocalyptic world works. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, guys, thanks very much to the Patreons for supporting. It was nice to include you guys as beavers in my little beaver world. I'm sorry I killed you all. But anyway, guys, peace, love, and dead beavers. <laughs> oh, that's a dark ending. Uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.